Well, hello friends. Good to see everybody. Um, I finally got some sleep, which is awesome. Only like, I fell asleep actually listening to the message last night after the live. I was trying to listen to it to decode the message of what the Lord said. So um, I don't know if you made it out there, but if you did, that was awesome. If you didn't, it's recorded and it's under live at Seek Heavenly Things on YouTube. It was amazing. In the middle of it, I'm literally telling the story about how Jesus told me to yell in the middle of the restaurant, <laughs> not yell, but say, Jesus is coming. Um, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I was speaking through him and said that you're saved by faith and grace. And um, it was a very embarrassing moment and very uncomfortable, but I did it because time really is short and spiritual warfare is really heightening right now. I had three accounts today of people trying to tell me, you know, that we have to endure the wrath um, or that the rapture date is not on Monday. <laughs> Satan is really, really, really trying hard. Um, so I believe 100% that it is because I've been getting confirmation after confirmation and so many believers have, and he gave the seven day warning. So I believe 100% in all my heart. And, you know, I just pray that it all comes true because God's word is true. So anyway, um, What's amazing is I was listening to the video I, after I fell asleep last night. I didn't get much of it. I literally fell asleep in the chair. I started playing it this morning around eight something and I wrote down the message and most of it was from the video. There was like a small paragraph that I read at the end of the video of the live that he had previously gave me. And um, it's just amazing. It all just fits in perfectly. And I went and looked up the scripture. And so for the ones that want to know how I'm receiving and listening to God, you watch it because he literally comes over. It's like fire and tongues. And you look at my, it's, it's almost like I'm just become a vessel and I just speak. Like I lose all my personality and I'm just speaking his words. It's really supernatural and amazing. But I wrote down the message and I copied the scriptures today and it just, it's perfect. I'm like, it cannot not be God. <laughs> you know, all the people that always try to say that it's not and you know it just it does I don't lose faith because you know what as soon as someone tried to tell me it wasn't the Lord had another believer say listen the Lord told me to send this to you it was the bridegroom by Shirley lies on YouTube and I it literally confirmed everything about what God has been telling me about opening the seals and revealing revelation in the end times so I am just amazed. So this is probably going to take more than one part because I'm going to also read it and then I'm going to read it backwards. Because remember, we have discovered that God would like us to do that because it's like a whole nother revelation in the end times. Amazing stuff, guys. And Daniel, we are seeing it being unsealed as we speak. Okay. I claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God. He's also God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh. He bled on the cross and died for our sins. He rose on the third day. <clears throat> May 18th, 2023. Oh, and just went 322 as I looked at the thing. The Lord has been giving me 22s, 44, 222, 622, 522. It's amazing. Oh, when I fell asleep last night and I woke up, I have one of those alarm clocks where it shoots the time up at the ceiling. And when I walked in the room, it said 522. But then when I looked at the alarm clock, it said 227. Crazy. <laughs> okay. 2 Thessalonians 2.5. Oh, and ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you on YouTube. Second Thessalonians 2 5. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? First Corinthians 3 9. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field. You are God's building. Revelation 8 6. So the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. This was literally as I was doing the live last night. 1 Peter 2, 7, therefore to you who believe he is precious, but to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Malachi 1, 9, but now entreat God's favor that he may be gracious to us while this is being done by your hands. Will he accept you favorably, says the Lord of hosts. Philippians 1, 4, always in, excuse me, every prayer of mine making requests for you all with joy. 2 Thessalonians 2, 6. And now you know what is restraining that he may be revealed in his own time. I was literally just talking about that today. First Kings 111. So Nathan spoke to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, saying, Have you not heard that Adat, Ad, 
Adonijah, the son of Haggith, has become king, and David, our Lord, does not know it. Job 9, 4. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength, who has hardened himself against him and prospered. Deuteronomy 12, 8. You shall not at all do as we are doing here today, every man doing whatever is right in his own eyes. Matthew 9, 11. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Here's the message. My child, waves are coming. Tsunami waves. It starts on the Caribbean island, then the Gulf of Mexico. The shift in the atmosphere is going to pull the gravity. Green skies are coming everywhere. Oh, Lord, shaking me off. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do like a 10 minute, um, like a cut from the live video and post that once I get the full f footage so you guys can see him in action. He wants people to believe and that's why he, he came over me. Um, <clears throat> okay. The shift in the atmosphere is going to pull the gravity. Green skies are coming everywhere. The magnetic centricity is going to create rainbow colors in the skies. How crazy is that guys? This was spoken last night and literally I saw a video today that they saw rainbow skies. Um, I told you it's going to be very beautiful, but very ominous at the same time. My children and chosen ones, you are going to feel everything in your spirit. I have opened up the heavens so you will see my glory. You are going to feel the magnetic pull towards heaven. The earth is going to shift, causing seismic activity. Are you awake yet? I'm coming. I love you. I'm opening up the windows of heaven. I'm pouring out the blessings. Blessings. I told you in the end times I would pour out my spirit. My child, the door is the key. I gave you the key to my kingdom. I gave you the key to myself. Salvation. Why do you deny me? Why do you reject me? I am your redeemer. I am your rescuer. Come to me, child. Let me give you rest. Let me take away your burdens. Nukes, my child. Nukes are going to hit Kentucky, Georgia, Florida, Louisiana. New Orleans will be no more. I will destroy the wicked. My judgment is here. My wrath is here. I will not be mocked. I will not let the evil one poison the mind of my children. I am your creator. I am the Alpha Omega, the beginning and the end. I am coming. I am coming. My people take you to the wedding feast. I'm, I'm coming, my people, to take you to the wedding feast. My child, I am coming. I am coming. Wake them up, my child. Wake them up, my child. That's when he got, like, really intense in the live video last night. Wake them up, my child. I am coming. I am coming. Tell them, my child, I am coming. Wake up, my child. I am sounding the alarm. There is no more time. I am at the door. You need to get on the boat now. You need to not wait another second to come to me, to lay down at my feet and worship me. I am your God. I am your Savior. I am your salvation. Why do you worship other gods? Why do you bow down to other gods? I am the one that went and died for you on the cross. I am the one that shed my blood for you. Why can't you see that I'm trying to save you? You're going to wish that you listened because I am coming. I am coming. Wake them up, my child. Wake them up. I am at the door. There are no more warnings. My warnings are final. I will not be mocked. I will not let the evil one change my creation. I will not let the evil one change. Oh, I said that twice, actually. I will not let the evil one poison the minds of my children. Okay, uh, that was it, guys. You know, like I said, um, there's going to be more. I'm just going to go to part two. Um, but so much has happened today. McKenna, after I talked to, I have to re got the video that someone sent me that was really encouraging, which just confirmed everything Jesus has been saying about the end times. I heard in my head, call McKenna, call McKenna, call McKenna. So I called her from Holistic McMama and I was like, hey, McKenna, the Lord just told me to call you. And all of a sudden the Lord just started doing this and he said, my child and he gave her a message i didn't even realize that somebody was calling her this morning and telling her a warning about somebody saying that they're god and um you know that they're the lamb and all that stuff and we don't call out another brother because you know we come with love and correction so the lord didn't want her to make a video calling anyone out he just wanted to warn the new believers that would be deceived so literally as he's shaking me like as a vessel and giving me the words you should see all the words and the scriptures literally within five minutes gave me the entire message for her to post and i believe she just posted it and she's supposed to send it to me and i will also post it okay believe in jesus christ guys he is the only way the truth the way the life and no one can come to the father except through him and uh <laughs> you're saved by faith and his grace 
Our God is an awesome God who reigns from heaven above. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Stick around for part two.